hello guys welcome to see learning with new video in this vid video we will learn about the multi area ospf in our last video we learned about single area ospf now we will learn about the multi area uh, ospf so to learn to configure about multi area ospf remember one thing that the all area in ospf should connect to the area 0 area 0 is a very basic area and uh, if there is no any area in ospf so there is necessary that first area should be uh, area 0 so and the all uh, all the other area is a uh, connect to uh, area 0 so area 0 is also called the backbone area and uh, other areas which are connect to backbone area all card non backbone area so uh, we have this topology and i all uh, i have already configured the ip address to pcs and the routers so now we will configure the ospf in all the routers and see what how it behaves so we will configure in out uh, router 1 now we will configure ospf go system view ospf1 and uh, we are in router 1 so this router is in two areas it this router is also in area 0 and area 1 so we are configuring this interface of router this network is in area 1 so we will configure as uh, first of all area 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 1 area 1 and network in it is network is network is 192.168.1.0 and 0/0 dot 254 dot 255 so we configured now we will configure this network and this net this interface is in area 0 so we will go back and ospf1 area will change area as 0 and we will give the network here network is 192.168.2.0 uh, and 0/0/0/0 this is a strict match uh, so 0/0/0/0 uh, and 0/0.0.0 okay so i told uh, in my previous video why i write zeros here and not here so see my last video single area ospf there i told uh, all about why i configure this so we will go ahead now we will go to router 2 and uh, this router hole is in area 0 so we will configure both interface in area 0 so we'll go to sys uh, in ospf ospf 1 area area 0 area 0 and network is network is 192.168.192.168.2.2 and 0.0.0.0 other network is network is 192.168.3.1 and 0.0.0.0 now we'll go to this router and router system view ospf1 area area 0 now we will configure this interface of router this interface is in area 0 so we will configure network is uh, 192.168 3.3.2 3 and 0.0.0.0 okay so we have configured now we will go back and now we will go to area area 2 because this interface are belongs to area 2 so now we are in area 2 now we will give network here network is 
5.1 and this is the 4.1 so there is 5.1 5.1 and 0.0.0.0 and here is 4.1 is 4.1 okay so these two interface were in area 2 so this two router are in area 2 so we will configure it system view uh, ospf ospf 1 1 area 2 area 2 and now we will give the network network is we will give this network first network is 192 168 168 5.2 and 0, .0, .0, .0 and now we will give sorry uh, network is now the network uh, this side of network is 192.168.6.1 and 0.0.0.255 now see my previous video why I am giving 0.0.0.0 or 0 0.0.0.255 so configure 6.0 here now I will go to this inter, uh, this router and system view system view uh, OSPF 1 uh, area 2 now we will give the network network is 192 168 uh, 4.2 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 and the network is 192, 168, uh, 7.0 and 0.0.0.255. Okay, we have configured OSPF in multi area. Now we'll ping the PC. First of all, we will ping the gateway. This gateway, yes, it's pinging. Uh, gateways are not reachable why will again ping wait wait 192.7.2 and now we will ping its gateway sorry yes it's pinging sometimes packet all packets were lost so that's why ping not work now we will ping 4.1 which is the, this interface 4.1 yes it's pinging from this side we will ping this 5.1 uh, ping first of all we ping interface it's also not working so we will ping its own address is the loopback address now we will ping its gateway oh, oh gateway is not reachable six dot one okay ip is right six dot one yes it's pinging it's happened sometimes that ping not work because we configured very long ago so 4.5.1 yes 5.1 yes this this both pc are reachable till here area 0 now we'll ping this 3.2 in area 1 area 0 sorry area 0 3.2 of area 0 yes this ip this interface of area 0 3.2 is pinging by reachable by this PC uh, now 3.1 which is this interface 3.1 which is this interface yes it's reachable now we'll ping uh, this PC directly 
its IP is 1.2 so we can ping the PC 1.2 yes it's pinging I can so I will ping PC 2 uh, PC 4 from PC 2 its IP is 6.2 I will ping from here 6.2 yes 6.2 is reachable from this so this is how the multi area OSPF work the PC is from area 0 and going to cross areas uh, area 1 going to cross area 0 and reachable uh, for area 2 so this is how multi area OSPS work so all PCs are reachable from each other so that's all for today's video if you have any question any query you can comment and ask me uh, so thank you very much please subscribe